Hey, hey everybody and welcome out to Hollywood Studios here at Walt Disney World. We are continuing our experiments here with the new Magic Band Plus system. I've got the Disney Beauty Band. Devin actually has the Millennium Falcon Band and we're just trying everything out between the statues, the Galaxy's Edge experiences for the bounty hunting game, and even some of the rides. So we're really excited to get today started and be able to report back to you on all of our cool findings. So come along for the ride. All right, let's try out some of these 50th statues here at Walt Disney World's Hollywood Studios. So the name of the game here is the statues will actually talk to you through their speakers here somewhere. So in order to activate them, you have to walk over and wait for your band to vibrate, which mine already has, and you give it a quick wave. And your band will light up, and they're going to talk to you between our two and BB-8 here. There's several different statues here. Let's see if we can hunt all of them down today. Okay, Deb, you've already waved at BB-8 and R2-D2, so let's go around the corner and see what other statues await us. It looks like we've got Frozone and Edna Mode. Did it vibrate? There you go. It's going off. I think maybe you just couldn't hear it, so let me try mine. Yep, now it's vibrating. Give it a big old wave. Oh, maybe the speaker's out. Hmm, that's interesting. It's important to note that each of these statues are going to sync with the Disney Play app. Uh, well, it was formerly Disney Play. It's now Disney Pl or Play Disney Parks. So. If you already have the app downloaded, you're going to need to go in and update it. If you haven't downloaded it already, know that it's going to say Play, but the full name for it is Play Disney Parks. And you can also scan this QR code as well to download it. All right, Dev, let's go find Edna Mode. I'm already vibrating. Are you? Not yet. Oh, okay. Let me try. Yes, darling. I love it. No capes. Let's go. You good? Walk closer. Let's go in like green. Oh, never mind. Stop. There we go. Try it now. Cute. I've been keeping up with the wait times today, and they look pretty serious, but Star Wars Rise of the Resistance isn't such a bad wait. It's only a 75-minute wait for there, so I feel like we've got a pretty good chance of standing a, a good run on that one. So we'll see what that looks like and see if we can check it out and also use it with Devin's band. These bands are supposed to go crazy on these rides, so I'm really excited to try them. What about you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, now that we've had some fun kind of hunting down some statues, I think it's only proper that we go over to Galaxy's Edge, try out some of the rides, see what awaits us there, and see if we can start hunting down some of those uh, bounties and getting some galactic credits for them. In case you're not familiar with how to get back here to Galaxy's Edge, from the very front of the park, you're going to hang a left and then continue hanging a right at Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular, which will bring you out by Star Tours right here in front of the Sci-Fi Dining Theater. Or you can take the uh, Commissary Lane, which kind of cuts down there by the Amos ABC Commissary right in front of the Chinese Theater where Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is. You'll slide on past here, past Muppets 40, and go straight on in through that arch for Galaxy's Edge. All right, time is finally here. We're now in Galaxy's Edge at the very front entrance, just past the archway. You're gonna find the entrance to the Rise of the Resistance ride right over here to the left-hand side. And as you keep walking on, you're gonna see a little bit more of the marketplace and see a little bit uh, more opening into the shops and other kinds of things to do around here at Galaxy's Edge. And then even further on, you're going to actually run into the Millennium Falcon itself for Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, which is also another attraction out here. So I'm going to take you by the uh, starting point for bounty hunting and wish us all happy hunting. We're going hunting now. Okay, so we've made it past Galaxy's Edge for Rise of the Resistance. We're coming into the marketplace, but that's not going to be our starting point. 
our starting point is actually going to be just a little bit further on over here just by uh, docking bay 7 so they're going to have a cast member set up there from batu <laughs> to kind of help you out and get you started uh, but you'll see how easy a process it is i promise you if i can work it you can too so the object of this game is very simple what they're asking you to do is use the play disney parks app as kind of your map to be able to find these criminals <laughs> around the galaxy and then hunt them down for bounty or galactic credits so you'll redeem those with your magic bands it's just kind of a nice immersive thing to do here around galaxy's edge that gives it a little extra flavor and uh, might make it a little bit more of an enhanced experience for your stay so we're outside of the guildmaster we're right here by the entrance where you start your bounty hunting so i want to take you through that process see what it looks like in real time so that way Hopefully, we can make this experience a little bit faster and more exciting for you once you come into your own bounty hunting. Here's the starting point. So right here is a screen that's set up right beside of the Guildmaster. Once you've collected your bounty, that's where you're going to redeem for your credits. But this is going to be your starting point here. It's going to walk you through the entire process from start to finish. If it's your first time, if you're like these folks, then it's already gonna go ahead and assign you your next bounty. Now, full disclosure, he's been playing for a little while, so he's actually looking for another kind of bounty. That's a new one. He's getting 1,100 credits for this one, so I'll show you how easy it is. You walk up here, tap your band here. It's gonna take you into a screen that's gonna show you all this process, but your screen or your screen's gonna show who you're assigned and how many potential credits you have. It tells you good luck, fortune awaits. And then it's gonna take you around Galaxy's Edge and you just need to follow your band. Now, the thing of it is, is as you're following your band, it's gonna glow green, as long as you're going in the correct direction. As you get closer, that green will start to spin faster and faster. And then if you are going in the extremely wrong direction, it's gonna glow red. There's also some extra vibrations happening, so I believe that's just the band kind of syncing up with wherever you're at and, and pinpointing your location. I do have to warn you though, this thing is really accurate. So if you're going around the park and you walk up to the wrong door, it's gonna tell you this is the wrong door. This is not the door you're looking for and tell you to turn around and go and search elsewhere. Okay, so here's a prime example. My band is going off like crazy. It's going off in red, it's vibrating. And that's telling me that if I were to continue walking this way, I've gone too far. So I need to turn around and start walking this way. I think it's also important to note that the Galaxy's Edge Bounty Hunter game is not going to take you beyond Galaxy's Edge. So you're never going to be out in Toy Story Land or by Star Tours. If you've exited the Galaxy's Edge area, you've gone way too far off course and you need to make sure that you're staying in here. So while it's an immersive game and it's kind of a scavenger hunt, you are limited to a certain area. Uh, kind of rectangle around if you will that's comfortable and compatible with this game so you're never too too far outside of this home i think we're getting closer my vibrations are going off like a heartbeat it's going buzz 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 yeah literally almost keeping time with it as i was saying that so the more closer that you get to wherever your target is the better this is going to take off for you I wanted to show you how this works a little bit. So I'm gonna step over here. You pull up the Play Disney Parks app. If you have already downloaded the app, you'll need to update it. But if this is new to you, it'll download the latest version, updated version for you. So right here at the top, after you've logged in, you can hit At Home Fun. It'll recognize you by your location. You're gonna select Hollywood Studios. Then you're gonna scroll along until you actually get to the Batu Bounty Hunters quest. So, it's going to ask you if you want to continue your quest. It's going to take you into somewhat of a data pad here. And it'll tell you a little bit about what your target is, what they're wanted for, and how many galactic credits they're worth. This will also show you the different kinds of lighting that will show up on your band as well. So that way you can make sure that you're synced up there. The last thing I want to show you on this is there are a place to see maps of all of Galaxy's Edge, just in case you get turned around a little bit. The bounty board is where they call it. That's your uh, start point or where you keep accepting new jobs over and over again. But then you can also hit that top right and go to the located targets. So it will show you. Oh, let me go back. 
Maybe it's targeted. Oh, I'm close. I'm close to something. Let's see what I've got. Am I by somewhere that I need to be? I am. I think I am. Nope, this is not the right one. So let me go through here. See if this one is the right one. Oh, looks like it might be. It is. So it's gonna light up a little funny. It's gonna light up purple. It's gonna sound. You can also tap to activate the thermal viewer to scan the doorway through the app. There he is, right there on the screen. Found you. Well done. Now collect, return to complete your mission and collect your credits. All right, we're doing it. So I wanted to continue to show you what this menu looked like here. If you hit the top right hand corner, you can see where your past located targets are. You can see a map of the whole layout of Batu and Galaxy's Edge. And if you want to go back and have forgotten how to track your targets, this gives you a very quick and easy rundown of everything that you're going to see on that bounty board when you select your very or you get selected for your very first assignment. If I click to visit in here in the located targets, you can see that I previously found four. But I can also slide through any of the ones that I've previously found. And you can also see how many galactic credits that you've earned based on how many that you got located already previously. It's a pretty cool feature. Another thing that I think is worth mentioning is my son's not old enough to have his own My Disney Experience account and therefore a Play Disney account. So just because he has a band that's able to play this app doesn't mean that he needs the app to be able to play the game. So there's nothing wrong with going and getting your bounty assignment and just walking around somewhat blindly <laughs> to be able to find your next target and then go and redeem it. It just means that you need to see everything through a, an adult's account or someone that has those eight missions to be able to download that game. Another issue that I've kind of ran into was there was a target that I went to go and find that I thought was by the milk stand. And in fact, it was actually glowing by the milk stand, but every time that I tried to scan anywhere near there, it wasn't scanning. So I had to go around the corner and scan by the restrooms. So <laughs> be aware of that whenever you're scanning is although it's telling you it's right there you might just have to go around the corner because it might just be a little bit more hidden but i'm telling you this thing is very very accurate on where it wants you to go oh man dev you're sweating i know it's hot out here but how many bounties have you collected uh, 10 this is my 11th this is your 11th bounty do you know how many galactic credits you're up to uh, uh this one is three three thousand I think yeah, the last one I saw you at was like 1,100. 3,600 3, credits for that one? Whoa, that's big. Okay, well happy hunting. One of the guys in front of me just got done collecting his 17th bounty. And the message from the guild master said, you're building quite a reputation for yourself. You might want to consider this guy. So each time that you go and redeem credits, it's going to change the verbiage. It's going to change the message. And it may change the time has come so here's how we need to go in about redeeming our credits you slide your hand in here to where it reads your bounty off your bounty. wonderful the fifth bounty wasn't easy you're proving to be quite the bounty hunter here are your credits 75 for that one. And now we can keep going. Devin's redeeming now. Screeching Sarlacc. <laughs> You're on fire. Here's your reward. 3,600 credits. That's amazing. Well done, bud. All right, you ready to ride some rides? See what these bands can do on the rides? First, I want to get a drink or something to eat. Okay, we can do that for sure. Hey, Deb, you ready to go ride? All right, we're going to go ride Smuggler's Run, Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run first, and then we're going to try our luck on Rise of the Resistance. Sure you're ready? Yes. All right, 
I'm sure too, right? Yeah? Okay, we can do it. We now made it to the holding area for Smuggler's Run. This is where we get assigned into the Falcon in our positions. I believe I've already been assigned the engineer. So far, there's not been any change with my van just yet. I'm assuming that that's going to change as soon as we get to the Fire Marketplace. This is another hot spot of activity when you are bounty hunting with the uh, from the bounty board with the game. I have to tell you, you might be led to one side or the other, but you may have to try multiple doors before you find the right one that you're called to to actually find your target. Oh no, Rise of the Resistance is down. We may not be able to get around to ride Rise of the Resistance today, but we still have bounty hunting, so I think we need to try and hunt one or two more. What do you say? Dev and I also wanted to point out that although you might be a family that's hunting kind of together but individually, we don't always get the same bounty to hunt, do we? We don't always get the same mission, so if you're playing multiple games and multiple uh, hunts with several people in your party, just know that there's a chance that they could be going completely opposite directions of you. So if it's really important to you to stay together, then you want to make sure that you're only hunting one bounty and one band at a time. So that way everybody stays together, otherwise you could be going off in multiple different directions. Now that the sun's going down and it's getting later and not so hot, there's so many more people playing. And I'm really excited to see all this. What do you say? Hunt one more? Together or separate? Together. Together? On your band? Yeah. I assume? Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Alright, doing one more. 
You're up to 1375 credits. We're hunting down MK8. Are you up for the challenge? Yeah. Let's do it. Lead us on. Dev said, let's check over here first. So what you're having to do is follow the green. And as that starts spinning faster and faster and vibrating, pulsing faster and faster, kind of like a heartbeat, then you'll know you're getting even closer to your target. I don't feel it vibrating, but it's spinning. It seems like it's spinning faster. Okay, let's see what we can do. Keep going. Here, it might be a little bit hard, and you might not be able to see it, because there's so many doors around where it will just pick up one door, and then if you go close to a different door, it connects to that door, but then it connects to that door until you go to a new door. But it's, so, it's very accurate, would you agree? Yes. So if you go to the wrong door, it's not going to let you in. Yes, but sometimes it will stay on red for a long time, at least 20 to 10 seconds, until it's done vibrating on red, and then it will go back to green. Ah. When you're off of that bad spot. Okay. I see. Keep going, Dev. Lead the way. Oh, no. Nope. We got to go back. Thing is, it connects to that door. Okay, let's keep going then. All right, we're back green again. We're back green again, so I think we're back on track. Going through the market was not what we were looking to do, right? According to the band. One of the cast members said there was 20, but she was joking. Ah, okay. There's about like 15 to 16 of them. Different targets? Yes. We'll have to see. I think there's like 14 or so. You said it's getting faster? See, so feel it. Feel the vibration. Yep, I feel it. Okay, getting faster. Yes. Let's keep it going. What do you think? Got it. Got it? Got it. All right. Right here by the restrooms. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, now it's starting to really take off. Okay, Deb. What up? Lead us on. Whenever it starts to light from here, that means it's trying to connect to the right door. This one? Yeah. Try them. You've already gotten this door. If, it, if it's too close, it would have uh, already blown up right It's not. I know. I just want to sh show what it looks like. Okay, so not our right door. Try this one. I've because last time I was doing my other brownie and I went over here and it didn't work. Okay. But it was... But it's still going crazy. Also not good. Okay. But whenever I, I went to try this door, it linked to that door. Interesting. I've already tried that door. But just because it's a door that you've already done Does it doesn't mean, mean that they're not done. hiding behind the same door. Let's try it. Like oh, this is it. Because it's lighting up right here. This is it. There you go. Whenever it lights in the center, that means this is the door. Gotcha. That you're really so, this is an example of, like I said, Devin doesn't have the Play Disney Parks app downloaded and not old enough to have an account. So, there's nothing wrong with just using the band and being able to scavenger hunt around. It's just that the app kind of helps you navigate and see some extra cool features if you have it. You know what time it is now, Dev? Collecting my... Um, uh, time to redeem for some galactic yeah. credits, right? Yes. All right, let's go do it. You know the drill by now. Yes. Let's head over to the Guildmaster right over this way. Time to redeem. Go ahead and scan your band, Dev. When you try, when you try to do it, it says go find your band. Get it. Located. Keep this up, and you'll be a member of the guild in no time. We could use someone like you. Here are your credits. Thirteen seventy-five for that last one. Good job. Oh my goodness! Wow. <laughs> what do we say? Another afternoon successful? Yes. Yeah. Another successful afternoon. So, if you're coming out to Bounty Hunt, you want to make sure that you picked up first and foremost your new Magic Band Plus. As such, 
make sure that you have that already linked to your My Disney Experience account previously before you go to, to pick up your bounty. And then you also want to make sure that you've downloaded the latest version of the Play Disney Parks app. You may have known it as just Play Disney before, uh, but they have made a new update to it. So if it's been a while since you've been on it, make sure that you've updated that game or if you had it downloaded before, offloaded it, and then want to re-download it, you, you'll know it as Disney Play, uh, Play Disney Parks app now. We got to finish some bounty hunting, which was incredible. I think you're up to what, number 13 now or so? About what? 13 or something? 14 or 15. Yeah, we're getting ready to start 14 or 15. Each mission's been different. You might visit the same place a couple of times, but they're gonna be different missions. You just don't know what you're gonna get. We got to take a rise on Smuggler's Run. Unfortunately, Rise of the Resistance was down today, so we'll have to come back and try that one another time but I feel like we've had an incredible adventure out here this afternoon. So, with that, it's starting to get dark. We've call had a, a Yeah, we're gonna call it a day. Uh, we're gonna pause bounty hunting for now, but we sure have had some fun. I hope this was helpful to you in your bounty hunting, so that way you can make it an even more seamless opportunity for you when you come in. Um, if you have any questions though, leave them in the comments. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button for me and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss a beat of our adventures. But for now, this is where we leave you all. We hope you had a fun ride with us today, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye, everybody.